Guess who's back? My annoying keto rash. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving big vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. As you have seen this title, yes, my keto rash is back. And in this video, I'm going to share how I got my keto rash again. Why do I sound so excited? Because obviously, my keto rash playlist has the most view among my other YouTube playlists. So, to be able to talk about my keto rash again, I felt it's almost like the YouTube god trying to give me another boost to my channel. So with this excitement, please stay till the end. I'm going to do my shout out for my small YouTubers and non-YouTubers. Oh, and I'm going to share my keto weight loss journey update as well. Now, on with the story. Choo choo! If you have not seen my previous image of keto rash, I link my video down below and above so you can check the whole playlist out. My previous encountering with keto rash, I had to stop my keto journey for about a month before I decided to jump back in and my rash was traveling from my butt to my hand then to my neck and my ears. Yeah, it was very itchy and very annoying. If you're new and not sure what keto rash is, it's like and subscribe. And I'll tell you why. It's a rare inflammatory skin condition called perigo pigmentosa. Why is it rare? Because not many people have it when they are on keto. But how many people are really on keto? Rarely. Common area includes the trunk, the thigh, the chest, the neck, and the back. And in my case, the butt, the butt cheeks, and butt crack. Well, Good thing about keto rash is that you only get it when you are in ketosis. So you do not need any urine strips or blood tests to know that you are there. The downside of it is that it's going to be very itchy and there's no proper treatment for it. But if you consume enough carbs, it'll kick you out of ketosis. But the rash will calm down and most likely stop itching in a day or two. If it's a minor rash surfacing, I mean, it'll go away quickly as soon as you kick yourself out of ketosis. So, voila. Like I said, I got a whole playlist dedicated to my keto rash. So be sure to check it out if you want to know more about it. For the purpose of this video, I am only going to share my discovery of my new keto rash. There are good news and bad news. Which one would you like to hear first? Bad news, you say? Okay, sure. I started to notice little bumps here and there around my inner butt cheeks. There, I said it. When I started my intermittent fasting, and I didn't really care for it because the itch was tolerable. And as the time goes on and the longer I fast, the rash starts to spread outward. And it looks like a diaper rash, but I'm not wearing any diapers. So most of the keto rash starts by sweating. And Los Angeles has been hitting a horrible heat wave right now. It's 100 degrees every day while I'm sitting at home. You know where sweats the most. Yep, my feet. Just kidding. My inner thighs and butt area. So this could be the reason. Now for the good news. I know keto rash is caused by my intermittent fasting when I stress my body and maybe the rash spreads because of autophagy activated. I said maybe because I'm not a doctor so I don't know. And because of this assumption, I did a 24 hours fast two days ago and to check if the rash has spread a little. And yes, it did spread a little. Now, I will not show my pictures of my keto rash because obviously I'll get flagged by YouTube. And my butthole is shy, so use your imagination. I'm, I'm kidding. Stop imagining my butthole. <coughs> While I was doing my 24 hours fast, I have noticed there's a bit of rash on my arm and just a few tiny bumps here and there. Oh, and also the left side of my ear. Now, today I checked, I got a few red bumps on my chest. And this was right after I did some chest workout earlier of the week. Like I said, sweating would be something to do with it. I mean, at least that was a good workout, right? Now, let's do the shout out of my YouTubers and non-YouTubers.
If you want to get a shout out, be sure to keep staying on my channel and I'll randomly select four of you each week. Okay, so here's my keto weight loss journey update. Choo choo! So last week, I was lingering around 196 pounds, and because I did a 24 hours fast this week, this morning I weighed in myself at 195 pounds. This is pretty good and steady. And so, I'm sure you would like to hit that like button. Uh, what's next? Obviously, this keto rash isn't going away anytime soon, but it's not as bad as last time, so I'm going to sit on it and see what will happen literally sit on it and hopefully it'll get better soon and i'm almost done posting all my old mukbang videos so i'll start making new ones soon so stay tuned on that note please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates oh and i got a question for you all what kind of toppings do you like on your pizza and please leave comments down below in the comment section I'll see you soon. Peace. So, you know it's the ghost month in Asia this month. I got three more mukbangs that I literally filmed last year during Halloween with some collaborations that I thought I would just wait till this year Halloween to throw it back. But let's just get this old stuff out so I can get the new ones in. What do you say? I'm doing it no matter what you say.